Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Raman Deep Singh and today we are going to do one important session for SBI CBO 2022 exam. So this is regarding the RBI circulars, the recent RBI circulars and I'm going to explain the topics using MCQs. MCQs ki madad se pura jo concept hai, I'll explain that and then proper explanation bhi hogi. All the important circulars from last uh, three months. Wo maine aaj cover kiya hai, sirf paanj MCQs hai, zyada nahi hai. So before starting, let me tell you SBI CBO 2022 course, it's available on bankexamstudy.com just for triple nine. CBO triple nine and test series is, is included in the course, pura descriptive paper, sara coverage aapko milega, video classes, notes, test series, everything is part of the course. And this is available just for triple nine, okay? So RBI uh, asked all the urban cooperative banks to appoint the chief compliance officer uh, to which of the following UCBs, urban cooperative banks, this circular is applicable. RBI has given all the urban cooperative banks ko, abhi criteria. One uh, compliance, chief compliance officer appoint karne ke liye bola hai. Kaun se tier ke urban cooperative banks? It is tier 3 and tier 4. Tier 3 or tier 4 ke use, uh, urban cooperative banks ko bola gaya hai ki aap apna chief compliance officer jo hai, wo appoint kar liye. Thik hai? Dates bhi di gai hai. Uh, for the tier 4, uh, unko 1st of April 2023 tak, tier 3 walon ko, UCB's tier 3 walon ko, 1st of October 2023 tak unko apna chief compliance officer appoint karna hai. To which category an urban cooperative bank would belong to if it has a deposit of 12,000 crore? Categorization is important. Jaise maine abhi uh, bataya tha aapko tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4 urban cooperative banks. How these urban cooperative banks are categorized? Categorization hoti kaise hai? Uh, see, let me show uh, this table. Agar to, if the deposit size is up to 100 crore, it is a tier 1 urban cooperative bank. If the deposit is more than 100 crore but less than 1000 crore, it is a tier 2 urban cooperative bank. If the deposit is more than 1000 crore but up to 10,000 crore, it is a tier 3 urban cooperative bank. And if the deposit is more than 10,000 crore, it is a tier 4 urban cooperative bank. So, 10,000 se zyada, 12,000 crore, then it is a tier 4 urban cooperative bank. Okay? What is the minimum fixed uh, tenure, a minimum fixed tenure, minimum fixed tenure for appointing a chief compliance officer in an urban cooperative bank? Minimum tenure kitna hona chahiye uh, of a chief compliance officer, very important question. Yeh circular in itself is very, very important. Three years ka minimum uh, fixed tenure hai, three years ka minimum jo hai fixed tenure hai for appointing uh, the chief compliance officer in an urban cooperative bank. Okay, very important question. And what is the maximum capital required for setting up, up uh, setting up an asset reconstruction company? So that has been increased to 300 crores. It used to be 100 crores, but to strengthen the ecosystem, the securitization sector, RV said that ARCs should have 300 crore of, uh, of uh, you know, capital. Okay. The total assets of all uh, NBFCs in a group shall be consolidated to determine the threshold for their classification in middle layer. If the consolidated asset size of the group is dash and above. Okay. One important thing what happened is ki, suppose there is a group uh, group of companies and it has multiple NBFCs. Ye group hai, it has multiple NBFCs, chote chote NBFCs, right? So RBI said if the group company is same, if the promoters are same, then for the categorization, for the categorization in subke jo asset hai, asset of e, all these NBFCs would be consolidated. Standalone level pe nahi dekha jayega. These, uh, the assets of all these NBFCs would be consolidated for the purpose of classification. Okay, let's say if the asset of NBFC A uh, is let's say 50 crore, iska is 100 crore and it's, iska hai, uh, let's say 1000 crore, then the consolidated asset become 1150. That is a consolidated asset is 1150 and that's how the classification would be done. If the consolidated asset size of the dash, 
uh, if it is more than thousand crore, it would be considered as a middle layer NBFC. Okay, it would be if the consolidated asset size of the group is thousand crore and above, then each investment uh, and each of these, uh, you know, NBFCs, let it be any uh, investment and credit company, if that is a microfinance institution or a factor and mortgage guarantee company, all of them would be considered as a middle layer NBFC. Unka classification he change ho jayega, theek hai? So students, that was a pretty short session. Uh, SBI CBO 2022 course, it's available on bankexamstudy.com. CBO triple nine, you can use a coupon code to get, uh, you know, 66.66% discount. Usually we don't do that, but just because a lot of students requested me, I'm doing it. Test series is part of the course. We are, we are going to do the evaluation as well. I recommend all of you to write an essay and write a letter. I'll call you to give your, you know, I to give you suggestions, how you can actually improve your essay, how you can actually improve, improve your letter, or maybe I'll, I'll, you know, check your essay on the dashboard and I'll give you suggestions, right? I'm spending a lot of time on that thing. So complete syllabus coverage, video classes, self-paced course, systematic study plan, uh, and Dow clearing sessions, everything is part of the course. List of our successful students in the past. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. Uh, link to join the course is available in the description. 906720100. This is my personal WhatsApp number. Here you can just drop your WhatsApp message and wait for a reply. And I'll, I'll reply you as soon as possible, right? So that's actually all for today students. I hope you like this session. If there is any doubt in your mind, always ask your doubts and I'm here to answer your doubts. And that's actually all for today students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.